Gamers of the world, welcome to the video. I'm Get Good Guy. This is Battlefield 5, and I'm uh, gonna do my best with this one today as I'm racing against time due to a doctor's appointment. So, we now have the changes to gunplay, meaning we have altered values for bullets to kill and time to kill. And some of the changes are really quite drastic. Far more extreme changes than it seems some people expected. Whether the intention is to alter the time to kill or to rebalance the entire gunplay model, which is part of it, the result is still some massive TTK changes. The time to kill is very different in a lot of ways. But I'm not here to say if they're good or bad today, at least not on the whole. What I'm going to do is talk about how these changes affect the game, followed by running down some specific weapons in the game to tell you how they now perform and likely will perform going forwards, so you can get a solid grasp very early on of how the game will now play. This all comes via reading the patch notes, information from some very knowledgeable people, my own extrapolations and observations based upon a lot of first person shooter experience, and having spent some time with each of these weapons in the actual game. But it is very early days so things may shift over time, these are just initial impressions. So let's kick this off now and get right into my three main points, because there are three dominant aspects that these changes cause. A time to kill change, an implementation of extremely hard optimal range boundaries for most weapons, and a lot safer movement around the map due to overall weaker weapons aside from some pretty glaring omissions. So as I briefly stated to open the video, this is a massive time to kill change for almost all weapons at most ranges, even with some rate of fire changes, of which I'm not going to detail fully in this video as they haven't been explicitly laid out to us, but this does slow down time to kill a lot. More bullets to kill outside of optimal ranges, which are generally really quite small, for the vast majority of weapons equals killing people more slowly, and in some circumstances the result being that it's not even worth trying to kill the enemy with some weapons at some ranges. Keep in mind, I'm not saying this is good or bad, simply that it's a big change and that many people just didn't believe it would be the case. Now the second big aspect leads on from this, because these higher bullet to kill values stem from weapons now being assigned very very specific optimal ranges and roles. So now weapons can pretty much be pigeonholed into a specific optimal situation for usage, such as super close range SMGs, balanced MMGs, long range self loading rifles and so on. But I will add to that that unfortunately it also appears that we could have two groups respectfully labelled as being overpowered and irrelevant. But overall what this will likely achieve is more weapon diversification and more scope for DICE to produce weapons with specific roles in mind and keep new additions feeling like they actually offer something different to that which we already have in the game. To stress again, I'm not saying that's overall good or bad, simply that it's the outcome of these changes. My honest reaction being that I don't personally like a lot of what's been implemented so far, I also don't like some of the intention that I know about, which hasn't been stated, nor do I like how it's been presented to the player base because this is business after all and they're not going to be honest all the time. But this is very early on and I need to play more and I'm happy to be persuaded otherwise with continued play about anything I've said before, say today or say in future. There may well be some positive elements to these changes, but I feel that, either way, some tweaks will be needed as there are some fairly obvious issues with it, no matter which side of the fence you currently stand on. Like for example that bolt action rifles, bolt action carbines and anti-material rifles are unchanged in this update due to being tweaked previously. For me this won't create good balance. I foresee the anti-material rifles being complained about even more than before, due to less ability to take them out with most weapons, although that may not be a balance issue but more so a design issue. The bolt action rifles now become far more relevant, as statistically they were bad before, whereas now they could be very powerful. This will probably be quite welcome on console, although it could also further increase camping and general lack of aggressive play, with many just sitting back and taking pot shots, not particularly playing the objective and all that kind of stuff. And so on PC, they'll be even stronger due to the increased precision and aiming speeds possible with the mouse. This may work out fine with time, and again it may not actually be a pure balance issue, but a player base issue where camping and slow play is concerned. At the end of the day, people will play how they want, and that's their right, and I have no issue with it. It's just unfortunate that it may create a very frustrating scenario for many overall. But where I can say I do feel a balance issue will arise is where the bolt action carbines are concerned. They perform exactly as they did before. They're still a two shot kill and can one shot kill to the head. They haven't had any nerfs at all, but a lot of things that countered them have. 
So while they'll fit into a specific role, I think that role will be too strong and their optimal range will be far too wide. Many were already claiming before the update that the jungle carbine, for example, is an excellent weapon. So now it could just be absolutely dominant to some extent. And moving on to the third major aspect of these changes, it will be far easier to move around in some circumstances due to it taking so many more bullets to kill at range with a lot of weapons. Now this has some really positive aspects, as the maps are so big and open and many people are tired of being instantly cut down from a million angles by bipod weapons and such like. But it comes at the cost of a lot of weapons feeling like pea shooters at range and some other weapons now dominating at range. By that I mean mainly the bolt actions I've just discussed, which could mean that nothing much actually changes for movement, or at least in a lot of ways. It will just be a smaller selection of weapons doing all the damage to players that try to move around a lot, but we'll have to wait and see on that one of course. And I said I'd provide some specific examples of what's changed so you can begin to piece together how this will all play out, so let's do that. But I must apologise that this section will be footage from empty servers, as my current capture card broke, so I'm using an old one to record this update, such as the footage you've seen so far, but I've found it corrupted the weapon specific footage I got afterwards which is kind of the important part, so that sucks. And I don't have time to redo it due to that doctor's appointment today for an ongoing health issue. So yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Right, to lead off, one of the changes detailed before all of this was the altered Thompson. So that now fits into essentially a close quarters only SMG profile with an intended range of 0 to 15 meters and requiring between five and 13 bullets to kill. So the fast firing SMGs are now really only viable at super, super close range. Some will like that, some won't. Personally, I feel like it's too limiting overall, but that's just me. This will stop people complaining about the Thompson being used too much and being too versatile, I imagine, but I really thought that just a minor tweak would bring it in line. Instead, we now have a super nerfed version, but so is almost everything else, so it's kind of balanced, maybe, I, I don't know. We are using much weaker weapons now, just with specific ranges where the weapons perform in a similar way to before, but still fairly regularly kill a little bit slower. This Sten has has always been a very popular choice due to its consistency and ease of use. Well, it's now seen as a balanced SMG, fitting into the category that requires 4 to 11 bullets to kill, with an intended range of 0 to 20 meters. I can see what they're trying to do here, it may possibly fit the overall balance, but I can't get past the fact that even with an SMG, meaning it is supposed to be fairly close range, 20 meters just really isn't far. Yes, this will work beyond that of course, but the damage drop off becomes super, super noticeable. 4 bullets to kill at close range isn't too bad, but again, for those saying this isn't a flat TTK change, well, maybe not quite flat, but it's nearly everywhere, <laughs> to be honest. Although there are currently two SMGs designed to contest at between 10 and 30 meters, so we'll see if that keeps SMGs viable in these large maps. I have my doubts, but we'll see. Uh, the bolt action carbines, however, for the medic class, as actually already covered, I guess, will likely be super, super, super good and extremely heavily used now. Like mostly the jungle carbine, which I actually didn't get footage of, and I don't have time to do now, but yeah, expect extremely high usage of that now. I fail to see how they won't need some form of alteration down the line. Moving on, the Sturmgewehr of the Assault class now requires between 6 and 9 bullets to kill. What was already a not particularly popular option will probably remain as such, if not less popular. I just don't think this gun will be particularly worthwhile within whatever meta unfolds, even though it's fairly fast firing. I'm not impressed with this one, at least so far. The Ribe Rolle, however, provides an automatic range option for the Assault class. It requires a 5 to 7 bullet kill and comes with a bipod. This will still make people feel pretty spongy though compared to what we've been used to, but I feel like we'll really have to wait and see on this one specifically to see how it fits in. It will likely be viable, but not sure if it will actually feel powerful or satisfying. 7 bullets to kill at range is still quite a lot. Staying in the Assault class and the M1907SF is now basically an SMG. And that's also pretty much what DICE themselves have said. It has an intended range of 0 to 15 meters and has a 5 to 13 bullet kill. This is another gun that wasn't all that popular before and I don't foresee these changes altering that particularly. It's going to be a very, very limited option, especially without the option to heal as SMG users can due to being medics, but it will at least do some work at very close range. Onto the support class and the FG 42 is now a 5 to 13 bullet kill with an ammo count of 20 per reload and an intended range of 0 to 15 meters. I think this is basically trash now to be honest with you and I simply don't understand its design anymore. It was unpopular before, it will be even less popular now I imagine, because 5 to 13 bullets. 
670 rounds per minute with a 20 round magazine as an LMG I just don't think that matches up against a lot of other options especially on a game that is so range dominated due to the map design. Uh, the Lewis gun is now a 5 to 8 bullet kill with an intended range of 10 to 30 meters. I don't have much to say about this one I just included it as a yardstick for LMGs due to its popularity but I'll say that using it at mid range will likely be okay. Anywhere else and you'll get decimated I feel and Lewis gun users should probably be pretty worried about the bolt action carbines. The Madsen is now a 6 bullet kill, it will probably do okay only at midish to longer ranges. It is very stable and 6 bullets isn't too bad with something very stable, but again you have to consider that you're going to be up against bolt action rifles and carbines probably quite a lot, and arguably still self loading rifles could cause you an issue, and at close range you may as well not pull the trigger as it's simply going to be outclassed almost all of the time. The MG42 is now a close range MMG along with the VGO. It requires 5 to 13 bullets to kill with an intended range of 0 to 20 meters. Other MMGs are 6 to 9 bullets to kill with an intended range of 10 to 30 meters. Aside from the M1919A6 which is a 5 to 8 bullet kill designed for longer ranges. These are pretty huge changes for MMGs. Changes which will likely be welcomed by many whether they're actually good or not. I personally feel the actual issue with MMGs was their overall design and therefore still is, although they're just a lot weaker now. <laughs> MMG users expect things to feel really quite different now, with the longest range option still requiring 8 bullets to kill at 100 meters or so. Uh, Semi-autos, which brings us briefly back to the assault class, their range is generally reduced at all ranges, but should remain above average for most at longer ranges, according to DICE themselves. I have little to say about this one, but basically, we got an overall slower time to kill due to higher bullet kill requirements. One thing I will point out though, is that the AGM-42 will still beast for the right player, as it's still a 4 bullet kill at all ranges, and thus I believe still a 2 shot headshot, I think. Although I haven't actually paid attention to if the rate of fire is different, and DICE didn't list any of this stuff unfortunately, which is a shame they really should have done in my opinion. But the AGM-42 has never been a popular choice, it's a real skill cannon, and I have loved it, and I'll probably go back to using it a lot again now, so keep an eye out for how it performs. Onwards, and the common competition for semi autos is self loading rifles of the recon class. They now have slower rates of fire meaning essentially a flat TTK nerf. Yes I said a flat TTK nerf in this instance. For example the ZH29 had a rate of fire of either 150 or 164 rounds per minute but it now has a rate of fire of 128 or 138 rounds per minute. They'll still do basically what you expect but I'm again a little concerned about how they'll now fare against bolt action carbines which can one shot headshot and be paired with infinite self healing on the medic class. Oh and as we're on recon to reiterate, bolt action rifles and anti-material rifles remain unchanged. Oh and pistol carbines for the recon class, I almost forgot. They now have reduced damage with increased rate of fire. Although DICE seemingly didn't provide bullet to kill values for them for some reason, at the time of me checking the patch notes, I don't know if they'll update that, and again I feel like they really should have had that in there, but basically with pistol carbines you'll need to hit more shots with a rate of fire increase, probably equaling a similar but slightly nerfed overall performance for the majority majority of players. And I'll tack on here at the end that shotguns will now have around 2 meters less one shot kill potential, so they're less potent than before, but will likely do a lot of damage at close range now. Due to the nerf to so many other weapons, I expect to see them a lot more. And all of this today was without recoil buffs or nerfs, as alluded to as DICE haven't provided any indication as to what they've implemented in regards to them so far, so those will also have an impact. And so now you can make up your own minds about all of this, good or bad. Let me know what you think, either now or after you've played a bit more with it. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate you leaving a like, subscribe and turn on notifications to catch my future content, and feel free to follow my stream and join my Discord server in the description and my pinned comment. Here's the Board of Awesome for the epic people who support the channel on Patreon. They're all absolute heroes, and I love them all deeply and of course, often. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome, the link to the Patreon page is in the description and my pinned comment. And with all that said, I'm Get Good Guy, and I'll see you next time, laters. And I'm not really going to change that because it's not fun for me. But if I did use them, I'd know a lot more about how to counter them. So I'm accepting that failing. My point being, if you are interested in using other stuff, then absolutely do it. You see where I'm going with this? The more you use, the more you learn. The more fleshed out a player you'll be.